Hello and what is up guys, Jack here from Ezekiel Gaming HD and this is episode 20 of the Squad Builder series and in this video I am going to show you a cheap African hybrid, the formation I will be using is a 442 and the overall cost of this team is roughly about 12,000 coins but before I get into the stats of this team let me know if any of you can build an African hybrid team on Foothead or Footwiz or something similar like that, that would be absolutely amazing. Try and get three different nationalities, try and get three different leagues if you can. Um, if you do enjoy this type of squad builder, make sure you drop a like. Let me know in the comment section below to uh, tell me to do more of these if you like them, basically. Uh, but also, I want to say a quick shout out to uh, FIFA Coins today. They sell cheap Ultimate Team coins, and you can also get a further 10% off any purchases from their website by using the discount code EzekielG. But all the links will be in the description. So, without further ado, guys. Getting into the squad, in goal we have a player called Copa for 3,100 coins. This is just his standard silver card. He is the only Ivorian Coast uh, goalkeeper and you can also get him in form um, which would be approximately about 76 rated but um, he's actually silver although I say he's about 76 rated that's how he perf would perform in a game but to be honest with you guys um, if you're going to build this team I think you're going to have to get the in form because this guy struggles so badly against you know going into uh, seasons coming up against players like Lewandowski or Bormiang any kind of good finisher he just doesn't he doesn't save he doesn't even move sometimes so uh, not a great start to his squad builder, but don't recommend just getting his silver card. You'll have to get his informed card. Uh, I'm not sure how much the informed card costs, actually, so you'll have to check that out. Uh, but moving into the centre-backs, uh, first off on the right side, we have Kone for 2,200 coins. He is a silver centre-back with 64 pace, 75 dribbling, not dribbling, heading, sorry, not, not even heading, fucking defending, and 77 heading, and so far so good. He has played pretty well for me and his pace doesn't let him down at all. Um, so great player and uh, yeah, his card does deceive him. His uh, 64 pace is uh, it's pretty decent actually. Now moving over to the left side, we have Colo Torre for 800 coins, uh, only 800 coins. He is a bit of a legend uh, in real life generally. Uh, had to get this guy in here to be honest, uh, but he is a very good centre back. Uh, he has 72 pace which isn't low or slow, sorry. Um, but he has high strength and wins a lot of headers and generally makes some good tactical decisions in game and uh, very very strong player. But in game wise he has 79 defending and 81 heading. Um, so now moving over to the left back we have, God knows how I'm going to pronounce this, Dad Jack. Obviously, it's probably a silent D, so I'm going to go for Jackpa or something like that. He costs 700 coins. He is a non-rare silver with 79 pace, 70 dribbling, 68 defending, and 67 heading. But surprisingly, this guy is uh, also pretty, uh, you know, a decent player, actually. His card does um, deceive him a little bit. Uh, he doesn't really stand out uh, with his stats on the card, but he plays pretty decently, pretty well. Um, but now moving over to the right side, we have yet again... Another Ivorian player, so so far just Ivory Coast players, uh, this time he's from the League 1 and his name is Aurea and he, ha he costs 350 coins, he has 79 pace, 77 defending and 75 heading, again decent stats for a cheap price, um, does the job well and gets full chemistry um, basically for this team, so that's why I put him in there and um, now moving up to the right mid, we have our first of our different nationalities, we have a Nigerian player called Moses, for 700 coins in game he has 84 pace 83 dribbling uh, but to be honest he doesn't really do a lot in the game uh, you'd think that 84 pace and 83 dribbling would get you somewhere but he also has four star skills and he doesn't really seem to do a lot in this game maybe it's because the other players in this team are just a little bit better and we'll have to see uh, but the only goals I scored of him were pretty much open chances from what I remember or that is if I scored any goals of him because I don't actually remember scoring any good goals of him at all but now moving over to the uh, right centre mid, we have John Obi Mikel for 400 coins, uh, but he was also moved from CDM to centre mid. So uh, he only costs, well, 400 coins, but you're going to have to pay for that um, position change, unless you have one in your club, of course. But he only has 68 pace, but he is very strong. He's got 80 defending and 77 heading, and he does seem to hold the midfield area quite well and stays very defensive, um, so you can attack without being countered too hard. Um, but now moving into the first striker, we're going to go straight up to the striker this time. We're going to have Musa there from the Russian League. Um, another Nigerian player getting that kind of little triangle there. Um, he's got seven hundred. He only costs 750 coins. He has 90 pace, 81 dribbling and 73 shooting. 
He is an awesome player and surprisingly scores a lot of goals, especially with his head. Uh, considering he isn't tall or particularly strong, uh, it kind of surprised me that he did. But then again, he does have a lot of pace and him and his, the next striker that he works with, it doesn't surprise me, you know, because they're just so pacey. But anyway, guys, if we just come down to the centre mid position uh, on the left side, we have Teote for 750 coins. He has 74 pace, 74 dribbling, 81 defending and 72 heading. So a very good all-rounder midfielder. Again, um, if you change, you're gonna have to change him from CDM to centre mid position. You could also use uh, Colo's brother Yaya Torre. So if you want to increase the cost of this team, increase the uh, quality of the team, you can do that as well. And now moving over to left mid position, we have Jovinho for 2,500 coins because his natural position is left wing he will cost slightly more to move so that's why he costs 2500 um, he has 88 pace 82 dribbling and 67 shooting which is a little bit of a letdown on the technical side but Javino for me does find space quite easily it could be just his position positioning or just uh, just pure luck that he finds a uh, good positions basically but he does attack down the side very well and uh, he does he is a little bit of a pain to deal with to be honest for the other team Moving into the last player of this team, we have Seydou Dumbia for 750 coins. Absolute animal, especially when paired with Musa. Obviously, they're going to get that strong link because they're from the same team. And uh, he has 91 pace, 85 dribbling, and 76 shooting. Just like Musa, I find it harder not to score with him. Basically, he's just so easy and so, so fast and good at finishing. It's just hard not to score with him. Um, but that is it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this team. As you can see, this team is basically an Ivory Coast team with a few Nigerians in there. Um, but believe it or not, this actually took me hours to work out. I, I've tried to use like Cameron links and try different goalkeepers, but chemistry in FIFA 14 is so different and hard to create hybrids, and especially when you can just use African players. So if anyone can do that, make sure you drop it in the comment section, and I will probably reward the, the guy that makes the best hybrid. So if you want to do that, probably give away something like 25,000 coins to the best hybrid that you can make as long as every player gets nine chemistry uh, but as i said this is the end of the squad build if you did enjoy this video make sure you hit the like button if we can get 250 likes that would be absolutely amazing and uh, also don't forget to comment down below um, any other nationalities or leagues or any kind of other types of squad builders you'd like me to do in the future uh, if you're new to my videos make sure you go and check out my channel and if you do like my content hit that subscribe button it really does help my channel grow but until next time guys here are some goals that i scored with this team